uh, go across to Melissa McRae, Medical Director, MSF. Uh, Melissa, can you tell us how does, because you work all around the world, how do you choose where to operate in the world? Yeah, so Medicine Sans Frontieres is really driven by the humanitarian needs and particularly responding to the health needs around the globe, where we see they are greatest. One of the key points for us is that we can remain to be independent action, mostly due to the very generous donations of our donors. But being able to select where we see the needs are greatest is, is a really key part of selecting it. We particularly look at where there is persecution, um, injustice of any form, particularly needs around the most vulnerable populations, women, children under five, particularly war zones and conflict zones. Obviously, with the COVID-19 epidemic, all of our settings have been affected. Okay. So tell us about some of these uh, difficult decisions that you've had to make. So, of course, the global humanitarian health needs absolutely outweigh our resourcing, but any one organization's resourcing. We often have to make really difficult choices of where we will intervene, to which population group we will intervene, um, and also to what level of, of health servicing we actually end up providing compared to community hospitals. Um, it's, it's very difficult to make those decisions and, and to really um, make sure you are responding where those needs are greatest, which is what drives us. Right. And Melissa, um, I asked this question earlier in the show as well. How has this pandemic been different from other pandemics you fought, like Ebola, for instance? Yes, good question. Um, as an emergency medical organization, obviously, we respond to a lot of outbreaks and pandemics. The difference here is actually the global nature of it as such. The, the scale of this is far larger for us. One of the other differences as well is just the impact it's had on travel restrictions and um, supplies, but and just the supply chain that it, that it other is affecting all of the countries around the globe. Some of this was seen in the West Africa um, Ebola epidemic that you mentioned. We had a very large response there as Médecins Sans Frontières, but it was still contained to those couple of countries where the majority of transmission was happening. That's very different in the COVID response. I guess some other challenges in COVID particularly is just the availability of testing. We, we don't have um, reliable and easily accessible testing to diagnose the people who are affected with COVID. And of course, the treatment is not available. Um, we are still working where we can to trial um, medicines to see what is working to provide the best care we can but we are learning every day, as is many other healthcare providers, of just how to best respond to COVID.